hi guys welcome back to my channel now you're here and if you see me for the first time girl where have you been i make natural hair videos to help you navigate your hair journey and in this video we're going to be talking all about cloves i've been seeing cloves and the wonderful result that fellow naturals are getting from it on my explore so i was like i'm going to go behind the scene do my research try it on myself and then share my results and my techniques and everything i learned with you guys so make sure you watch to the end because i'm going to be showing you the best techniques you use to avoid the side effect of cloves which i experienced myself and then the best way you can incorporate cloves into your already existing regimen you don't want to miss that but before we get right into the video if you're not already subscribed to my channel girl what are you doing Go ahead and type on that subscribe button and click on the notification bell beside it so you don't miss any of my new videos we are going to be making clove water clove 31 styling cream and of course clove oil so be sure to stick to the end so you see how i use all of this on my hair cloves contain a variety of useful compounds but its main active ingredient is a chemical known as eugenol it has antimicrobial antiseptic and anti-inflammatory properties it also helps to Promote hair growth, add shine to the hair, treat dandruff, cleans and smooths the scalp, strengthens the hair, and finally, it helps to reduce hair loss or hair fall. For this experiment, you'll be needing your clove buds, and I also will be adding rosemary seeds to this clove infusion that we're going to be making. So you're also going to be needing your oils. We're making the clove oil first. I use coconut oil, almond oil, argan oil, and some hair growth oil mix that I got from a brand. I thought I should add it to just make the oil more effective. So I just added two and a half tablespoons of the clove buds and same with the rosemary into a blender. Coconut oil is my base oil here. So I added about 50% of coconut oil. And then I just added the other ones in just tablespoons depending on the quantity of the oil that you're trying to make i just wanted to make about 100 ml of clove oil because i already have lots of oils in my regimen and i didn't want to make too much just eyeball the amount you want to add and just add them then after that i just basically closed and turned on this the, the blender this blender i'm using has little blending power so i had to blend it like five times for the clove balls to break down properly so i get the size that i wanted so after you blended to the size that i wanted i just kind of emptied the whole thing into another container and i left it for about four days so while we are leaving the oil to kind of infuse more we're going to be making the clove water now So, to make the clove water, just pour in the amount of water you want to use for your clove water into a pot. Once it's already boiling, just add your clove buds. I did not add rosemary into this tea. Now I'm thinking about it and I, I should have added it. After leaving the oil to infuse for about 4 days, I just kind of poured it into a ceramic cup and used the double boiler made to eat it up i did not allow it to eat up to the point that the oil started to boil because i already infused it um into the oil then after that i poured it into the stocking and i strained out the oil that was literally all i did after straining out all the cloves i just poured the oil into the applicator bottle that i'm going to be using to apply it onto my hair or any other place that I want to use it for for just easier application so we made exactly 100 ml of clove oil the color is kind of greenish yellow and I love the consistency I also went back and added some clove and rosemary buds into the oil because why not now for the most interesting part of 
this DIY to make the 3 in 1 clove darling cream. I did not go to start whipping up a whole new formula because I'm not a formulator. I'm using the Camille Rose Twisting Butter and Moisture Milk. I decided to use two products from the same brand just because I know and I tested out and both of them mixed very very well. What you want to avoid in this experiment is using two products that don't mix because they are just going to form plums and it's going to be a total disaster. I just kind of eyeballed the whole measurement and mixed the two products in this flat bowl. I know you guys are going to be like, why didn't I use um, a deeper bowl? But if I use this, you won't be able to see me mixing all these things. And I don't have a spatula, guys. You guys will have to endure my spoon again. Anyways, I mixed it up properly. As you can see, it mixed very, very well. Then I went ahead and added the first batch of my clove oil. This is where I should have stopped because it mixed up so properly and the consistency of the products was just perfect. And then I went overboard and added extra oil and the products was just very, very oily. But don't worry guys, I fixed it later in the video. I scooped my whole combo into this transparent bag and poured it into the container that I want the cream to be inside. I was feeling like a little formulator here because I would see people that make hair products or skincare products or even lip gloss do the same thing. I was feeling myself. Now you can see that the XX oil was already showing here. But if you make this kind of mistake, the best way to fix it is to shake the product and then you use it or you could just store it in the room temperature for a few days and then the oil is going to come to the top and you just um you just pour it out that is exactly what i did to fix this, this xx oil in the tray in one cream if you're enjoying this video so far don't forget to give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below because it helps to tell youtube that oh i'm enjoying this video and i think you show it to more people let's get to the part you guys have been waiting for how i incorporate this in my hair regimen so first off i'm going to be starting by showing you guys how i use the clove water so i use the clove water as a hair rinse after shampooing the conditioning and rinsing out the conditioning before i go to use a leave-in conditioner i just spray it all over my hair liberally excessively the other alternative you could use to this is to just carry it from a bowl and just pour it all over your hair for this hair rinse you don't need to rinse it out because it needs to stay in your hair it needs to stay in your hair I'm emphasizing that it needs to stay in your hair. I also went ahead and I kind of massaged my scalp because the clove water just touched my scalp. What I noticed instantly with this clove um, water is that it tingles a little bit. So don't allow it to get into your eyes because it hurts too bad. But for the scalp, it was actually very, very refreshing and I loved it in my face because it got onto my face and it wasn't friendly at all but yeah after washing my hair i just used this um use this microfiber wash clothes and dried my hair instead of rinsing it out to use the oil i just applied it on my scalp the normal way you would apply any other hair growth oil all over my scalp and then i massaged it and i also use some on my edges because i'm trying to grow some parts of my edges back it's always better to use hair growth oils at night i use it every other day on my hair i didn't use it every day because it's not recommended to use hair growth oils every day to avoid clogging your follicles So incorporate the three in one cream into my regimen i'm not spraying the hair tea onto my hair again because i just noticed that it makes the hair really 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 strong and i'm trying to avoid breakage because i have low porosity hair so what i'm going to be doing is to just use ordinary water i 
I just rub this all over my hair, detangle it a bit, and then go ahead and put it into a twist. That is all, and that is what I use this styling cream for. It is super, super moisturizing. You guys know that Camero's has their moisture game at 100. I recommend you guys to try the 3 in 1 styling cream at least. First thing I noticed while using cloves was that shedding stops drastically for my hair so that is a big plus another thing that i noticed with clove was that after i used clove my scalp did not itch at all after that wash day even though i did not apply the oil immediately i applied the oil the next day while i was styling my hair but my scalp did not itch at all and i love that you guys i'm back i wanted to use this um few minutes to explain to you some of the negative side effects that i noticed i'm going to be sharing expert tips from my experience how best to incorporate clothes right now so go get your notes first off don't use clothes without doing a patch test i didn't do patch test i just assumed because i'm hardly allergic to anything that it won't cause any reaction or anything on my body that i went to excessively and liberally use it as my um as my hair tea i used it to rinse as you guys have seen and then boom i got rashes on my neck on my hand here on my face my face was completely irritated it felt like when you use your hand to cut pepper and then you touch it on your face my whole face was like burning but the burning sensation was not much but compared to someone that you know your face is just very uncomfortable and it lasted for about a few days i had to take allergy drugs for it to calm down i would highly suggest you do patch this before you use clove in your hair so the second one is that clove contains a lot of protein so expect it that it's going to dry your hair out so avoid it drying your hair out one thing you could do is to make sure you're incorporating it in small quantities you cannot be doing hair rinse clove oil leave-in conditioner or three-in-one cream like i do please don't do that okay your hair is going to start breaking off because it has lots of protein in it lots of strengthening properties so what you want to do is to incorporate only one at most so depending on the strength and the level of damage that your hair is experiencing you could incorporate like two for example i use this to rinse my hair after wash day that was a once in two weeks so if i go ahead and use the styling cream that will still be okay so because it dries the hair out if you want to use the hair thing where you have to spray it on your scalp every day i would advise to spray this only three to four times weekly don't spray this every day on your scalp because it is really really strengthening and at some point your scalp is going to be drying out and of course make sure you're not spraying this on the length of your hair what you just need it to do is to stimulate hair growth and then treat each your dandruff you don't need it on your hair every day so you can spray this on your hair maybe two or once a week depending if you have high porosity hair or you have fine strands i think this is going to do well for you because fine strands generally lacks like that strength and this is going to strengthen it but if you already have thick core strands you don't need this your hair is going to start breaking out so be sure to use this like once a week another smart thing to do is to tone the hair tea down by adding other hair teas to it for example instead of just using only clove water you can combine my clove guava and lemongrass and then make a tea out of it so these ones are going to be balancing out the strengthening properties of clove and then you can use this daily on your hair if you feel like your hair is drying out too much only thing you have to do is to dilute it with more hot water so your hair is receiving just a little bit of the clove properties i've also heard that you can use using clove make sure that is the only source of protein your hair is getting if not it's going to start breaking off because stuff is too strong it just kind of snaps easily don't go using rice water when you're using pre um, cloves don't go using any other thing and make sure the other products you're using to moisturize your hair is highly highly moisturizing that's why i chose the cami rose leave-in and styling cream because both of them are really moisturizing and i just added the oil even though i added too much you guys saw that i fixed it up later and also the hair grow oil that i made i made a very huge mistake and i will apply the concentrated oil on my scalp even though i toned it down it is still very concentrated because as you guys saw i left the clove buds inside it so it's still very much concentrated and my scalp like would hurt because why not so what i would advise you is to like 
dilute it with more carrier oils for you to be able to use it without forcing your scalp like coconut oil or grapeseed oil or avocado oil so according to my experience i'm going to remove the hair rings from my regimen and i'm going to be using the tea only on my scalp three times weekly i'm currently trying to use clothes to kind of grow out my edges a bit here i notice like it's experiencing lots of breakage i don't know why maybe i'm getting old or something but it could be because of stress and stuff like that so let me know down below if you love to see update video on this clove journey please you guys don't ask for another diy because it's over this is the last one but yeah if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel for more and i'll see you guys in my next one bye